trust your first impression. What do you see down there below you? A building, a road. Mm -hmm. A building, a road. What else? That's it. Mm -hmm. Describe those buildings for me. What do they look like? Just like a normal building with windows. Mm -hmm. It's big, it's not small. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're in a city? Maybe a town. A town, okay. How large are these buildings? How many floors do they have? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. And what are the buildings made out of? Look at the structure. Is it a modern building or an yeah, older it building? Yeah, seems modern. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How do you feel there? I feel okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body there? Look down at your feet. Can you see your feet? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have a body. Mm -hmm. Look at the surface under you. What do you, what do you, uh, what's below you? The road. Mm -hmm. It's a tar road. A tar like. road. Good. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. That's all I see. Okay. Now you tell me that you don't see any people? No. <clears throat> what do you get from this town? Do you feel like this town... Um, has people in it? Get the sense of the town. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Does it feel like an abandoned town? No. Mm -hmm. it just It's just there. I don't see anything else. Mm -hmm. I want you to use all of your senses. Because sometimes, even like when we walk into a dark room, we can sense things even if they're not there. Just use other senses and see what what's going on this, in this town. Why it is that you're there. What do you feel from it? Is this a place where you live or you're visiting? I don't think I live there. Mm-hmm. Visiting. Mm-hmm. Can you move from where you are? See if you can get any movement okay. and go through that town and tell me what you see. What are you sensing? I don't... Maybe stores? Mm-hmm. Good. Maybe a horse and carriage? Okay, good. Excellent. As you look, do you feel that the town has changed a little bit? Yes. Mm-hmm. So tell me how it's changed. Like, like it went back more in time. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Like the roads are dirt now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. And see if you could sense yourself now. Look down at, at the, f the ground and see if you could see your feet now. I don't see him. Okay. But you can see more things there. Yes. Excellent. So take me through a tour of this town and tell me everything that you see. It, it seems like a main street. Mm-hmm. The, the buildings are wood. Mm -hmm. Like old town. Mm -hmm. Where do you sense this town is? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Is it in a big, a big city type of town, or out in the middle of nowhere? How does it feel? I think it's a big city. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm. 
So you told me you saw a carriage there before? Yeah. What else do you see? Any other people? Yeah, there's there's people. Mm-hmm. How are they dressed? Like, it seems like maybe the 1800s mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. And as you look at the people dressed, can you tell the, the social class that they belong to? Yes. Mm-hmm. How do they feel? They feel like like they're not poor. Mm-hmm. You're a little bit more dressed up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fancy. Like everybody's dressed. There's... D- I don't see any people dressed like in rags. Mm-hmm. Everybody's dressed. Mm-hmm. What are the men wearing, for example? P- pants and mm-hmm. shirt. Anything on their head? There's hats. Mm-hmm. What do the hats look like? Um, maybe domed. Mm -hmm. Good. With a rim on them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And the women? Not, um, they have like, like the material on the dress. Mm -hmm. Seems like a little poofy, but not too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Like on the skirt. Okay. And then the tops are like tight, you know, but, mm-hmm. and then they have a flowing skirt. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see where it is that they're going. Do any of these people stand out to you? Just the people and the horse and um, that are in the carriage. In the carriage? Let's follow these people. Let's see where they go. Tell me everything that happens. We're just driving down the street, mm-hmm. and there's trees, and the road seems dirt. Mm-hmm. And who do you feel closer to? Do you do you are you attracted more to the man or the woman? The woman. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I want you to just follow along. And as you get closer to that woman, you'll be able to sense what she's sensing. Feel yourself just acclimating with the woman, becoming one with her. And as you acclimate yourself, you'll be able to see through her eyes. And tell me what you see. We're, we're dark skinned. Mm-hmm. We're black. We're black. Mm-hmm. We're still in the horse and carriage. Mm-hmm. And who's driving this horse and carriage? The, the gentleman next to me. Mm-hmm. And who do you feel he is to you? Maybe my husband. Okay. Very good. And I want you to connect with your emotions. How do you feel there? I think I feel anxiety. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's find out why. I want you to continue on that scene and let's see where it is that you're going to. You can fast forward the scene and arrive at your destination and tell me where you are. Maybe in front of our house. Mm-hmm. So take a take a look at your house and just describe it for me. It's made out of wood, and the front um, has a porch mm-hmm. with an overhang. Tell me more. Um, it's just old house. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like. Um, like deteriorated or anything. Mm-hmm. Does it seem to contrast what you're wearing, the social class that you feel? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's find out why. 
Let's go inside that house and tell me what's there. I see a fireplace and wood furniture. Mm-hmm. What else? The kitchen. Like a table where you would prepare food. Mm-hmm. A stove. Old-fashioned stove. Mm hmm Does it seem like you live there with your husband or would you with other people? With my husband. Mm-hmm. Are there any children there? I don't feel any children. Mm-hmm. Very good. I feel like we're elderly. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel? Maybe 50. Mm-hmm. Very good. Can you sense what it is that your husband does for a living? I want to say he's a driver. Mm hmm. He's a driver for at with a horse and carriage. Mm hmm. And do you have any? Anything that you do during the day? It doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. Do you see anything else in that scene that's interesting? No. Okay, so let's close that scene like a book. And now let's move to another important scene in that same lifetime. You can move forward or backwards to another important scene. Be there now. Where are you? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Look around. Maybe it's dark. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that it's daytime or nighttime? Use your senses. I guess it's nighttime. Mm hmm. Are you indoors or outdoors? How does it feel? Indoors. Indoors. Mm hmm. Now use your senses to look around with your mind's eye, and you can illuminate this place where you are. And just look around, and see where it is that you are. Where do you sense that you are? Do you feel like you're in a small place or a large place? I think it's a small place. Mm -hmm. And how old do you feel there? Sense your body. I feel young. Mm -hmm. A young girl? Yes. Mm -hmm. But how old? Maybe five. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see where it is that you are. Look around you. And I want you to tell me what's, what emotions you're feeling in this place. Connect with your emotions. How do you feel there? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. So just illuminate this place now. Use your mind to illuminate where you are. Allow it to flow. Little by little, you'll know where you are. Look around you. I think I'm in my room when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Very good. Look around you and see what you see. I see the dresser and the beds. Mm -hmm. There's a table. Mm -hmm. There's the attic door. Is it open or closed? It's closed. Mm -hmm. There's a bookshelf with books on it. There's 
windows. Mm -hmm. I see a taller dresser. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a closet. Very good. And you say it's nighttime? Right now it's day. It's daytime. Okay. So let's see that scene. And see yourself in the nighttime. Move that day over to the nighttime when you're sleeping. And now something will happen. And tell me what happens at night when you're sleeping. You'll be able to see it as an observer. Tell me everything that happens. The the attic door is open. Mm-hmm. And it's touching my my left foot. Mm-hmm. Tell me who's touching your left foot. I don't know. Okay. Now you say it's touching your left foot. I want you to observe it from the non-physical and give it a form. See who it is. Ask it who it is. I think it's a man. Mm-hmm. I want you to speak with this man and ask him who he is. I get like cowboy or something. Mm-hmm. Cowboy. Ask cowboy why he's touching your feet. Seems like he likes my energy. He likes your energy. Mm-hmm. Ask him to tell you more. What does he get from your energy? Happiness. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about Cowboy. He has a blue shirt on and his hat is tan. Mm-hmm. What else? How old is he? He looks like like maybe thirty. Mm-hmm. Ask Cowboy if, if you can ask him some questions. He says yes. Mm -hmm. Ask Cowboy why he's in that attic. I don't think he wants to answer. Mm -hmm. Would Cowboy allow me to talk to him directly? Yes. Okay. So let me speak to Cowboy. Allow him to speak through you. Okay. Mm hmm. Good morning, Cowboy. Good morning. What's your name? Billy. Billy. Billy, I understand that you've been touching Susan's toes every day. Is that right? Yes. What do you get from her toes? Her energy. Mm-hmm. Why do you need her energy, Billy? I just like it. Mm-hmm. Are you very sad? No. No? How is, how is it that you feel, Billy? What emotions do you feel? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Billy, may I ask, when was the last time that you had a body? When you were actually a cowboy? What year was that? I get like... 1700s. 1700s. Late 1700s. Mm -hmm. 
And Billy, where is it that you lived? New York. In New York. Mm hmm. And what happened to you? Why did you lose your body? Maybe cold. The cold. Were you frozen? I think so. Mm hmm. What were you doing out there? Why were you outside? I was out in the woods. Mm -hmm. I see a fire camp. Mm hmm. And it was just too cold? Yes. So you lost your life? Yes. Mm hmm. Did you lose it in the place where the house is now? Yes, nearby. Nearby. So you never left that area? Yes. Billy, why is it that when you lost your life, you didn't, you didn't go follow the light of Source? Why didn't you go back home? I think I like it here. You like it there? What do you like from it? There's snow and trees. Mm-hmm. It's you, pretty. You just like being there, don't you? Yes. The thing is, Billy, though, that you no longer have a body. And every time <clears throat> a soul must evolve, you've been everything. And now you're just stuck there in this dimension without being able to evolve. And once you go back home, you can enjoy all those beautiful things again, all over again. But you're stuck. You're stuck in this dimension, not being able to move. Wouldn't you want to go see the people that you loved again? Yes. Wouldn't you like to feel that love from the source? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you have to let go. Would you be willing for me to help you today? Yes. Okay, Billy. I know that you've probably caused a lot of issues for Susan. Can you tell her what is it that you've caused her all these years? <coughs> Taking her energy. I think I caused the anxiety. Mm -hmm. How did you cause that? By scaring her. Mm hmm. What else? She would wake up mm -hmm. and I would scare her. Did she see you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you the one that they called the man with the teeth? That her father would say it's the man with the teeth? I don't think so. Mm. Was there somebody else like that? Or just you? Just me. Mm hmm Did you scare her on purpose? No. Mm. She was just afraid of you, right? Yes. Mm hmm And why did you open that door all the time? Why did you always open the attic door? Because I live there. Ah. Okay. And why is it that you didn't scare her when she was there playing with her sister? I don't think she could sense me in the daytime, only at night. Ah, uh, when she was relaxed? Yes. Mm hmm And then you would just touch her toes and get her energy? Yes. What was special about her energy? What were you getting from it? Happiness. Happiness. Mm hmm You weren't very happy, even though you liked the trees. Yes. It's, it's, it's not nice being stuck in an attic for so many hundreds of years. Yes. Mm hmm So would you like... For Susan to forgive you for all of this anxiety that you've caused her for all these years? Yes. Go ahead and tell her how you feel. I'm sorry that I caused you the anxiety. I didn't mean to do that. That was not my intention. What was your intention, Billy? Take take the energy, mm -hmm. to share the energy from her. Mm -hmm. 
wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself, Billy, for doing that? Yes. Okay. I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, Billy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for Susan to speak with you. I'm going to touch her forehead now. And Susan, what would you like to tell Billy? I'm not afraid of him. Mm -hmm. I can see him. And it was wrong that he scared me. He should have shown himself to me. Maybe I wouldn't have been so scared when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But now that you know that this is a poor soul that was stuck there, can you uh, forgive him and allow him to, to go to the light back home to source? Yes. Mm -hmm. And can you forgive yourself for all this time that you accepted this anxiety as being yours? Yes. Okay, let me speak with Billy now. Billy, before you go, I want you to unload all of those feelings that you've had all these years. Do you feel any remorse or any regrets? No. No? Anything that's holding you there? Maybe I don't know how to leave. Okay, all right. So I'm going to call my angels of the light. All of these angels, I want them to come around and encircle you, Billy, and tell me when you see them all around you. Brilliant white light all around you. They're there. Mm-hmm. And feel the love that they have for you. Yes. Very good. So, Billy, I want you to find your way out of the crown of her head right here. Right here. Find your way out there. Get all of your energy out of her body. I want you to pull all of that anxiety that she's been feeling all of this time. Pull it out of her body. Just like rope. All of it out. And Susan, I want you to make sure that there's nothing left in your body of his. And all of that fear. Pull it all out. So Billy, I want you now to go with the angels. They're going to guide you up into the light of source, back home, and tell me when you get there. I'm there. Beautiful. Is there anything you want to tell Susan from there? Just that I'm sorry. Okay. Billy, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. And now, take a deep breath in. Let me speak with Susan. Susan, I want you to go through your entire body and pull out all of that anxiety. I want you to visualize it and tell me what it is that it looks like. What does it look like? Just a blob. A blob. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me that blob. Pull it out from the root. Pull it all out. Go through every cell, every muscle, ligament, bone, muscle, skin. Pull all of that anxiety out. You don't need that anymore. I'm going to send it to the universe for healing. Pull that blob out. Vacuum it. Suck it up. Whatever it takes. Give it all to me. And tell me when I could take it all. You can take it all. Wonderful. Taking it and sending it out to the universe. Now, in that space that, that's in there, that's left, you've taken all of that anxiety out, all of that feeling of fear from Billy all these years. What would you like to fill that space with? Light. Let's put lots of light in there. I'm going to put a lot of light in there. Fill it out like a big fire hose. Filling every piece of your body with light. And then I'm going to seal it right here. How does that feel? Wonderful. Wonderful. Very good. <clears throat> now I want you to go through time and space again. I want you to go back on that cloud. I want you to travel now. Floating through space and time. Drifting and floating, floating and drifting. And let's go back to another time 
another place where there's information that will help you in the very best way. Drifting and floating. Be there now. Is it daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Mm Mm-hmm. Are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening there. I just see a big field and big trees Mm -hmm. surrounding the field. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And I, there's like a flash or something off to the the left of me. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe what your body looks like. Are you male or female? I feel like I'm male. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Maybe 25. Mm -hmm. Can you tell how you're wearing, what clothes you're wearing? I think I'm just wearing like just something covering the middle of me. Like, Mm -hmm. like, it's like skin, mm-hmm. you know, like made out of skin. Look at your skin. What color are you? I, I want to say I'm Indian. Mm-hmm. So you're like a 25-year-old male Indian? Yes. Mm-hmm. And you said you saw this flash. Yeah, it seems like maybe it's lightning, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Let's go investigate it. Okay. Well, see if you can move through this place, this field, and let's see what that flash was. Sense where it came from, and just be there. I, I feel like it's a UFO. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's take a look. Let's see what happens next. I don't want to go over there. I'm too scared. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. So just take a deep breath in. And just tell me what happens. Describe everything, including your emotions. It's, it's like they're, they're, like they're sending out an electrical charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what do you see? And I just see it, and I'm scared. Mm-hmm. So you see an electrical charge. Where is that? What is this object that you're seeing? It's like a, a UFO. Mm-hmm. What shape it's is it? Silver, round, mm-hmm. domed. Mm-hmm. Do you see anyone? No. Mm-hmm. But you feel it. Yes. What does this electrical charge make you feel like? How does it make you feel? Scared. Scared. Anxiety. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's find out why. I want you to continue with that scene. And let's just follow what happens next. Tell me everything that happens. I think it hits me. Mm Mm-hmm. And then what? I think it knocks me out. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I I think they're taking me into the ship. Okay. Describe who's taking you. The light. The light. Mm -hmm. Do you feel yourself in that light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Describe everything that happens. Like I'm floating up to the ship. Mm -hmm. And through the the beam of light or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And it takes me up through the ship. Okay. And tell me when you're inside. I'm inside. Describe what you see. It's white. Mm -hmm. Not much in there. Describe whatever is in there. What, What shapes do you see inside? Do you see any furniture in there? I just sense. Mm -hmm. I don't really see. Okay, so let's tell me what you sense in there. I think I'm just scared. Mm -hmm. Do you feel there's anybody there with you? 
I can't see them. Use your other senses. Get past the fear and sense who else is there with you. I think it's a gray. Mm -hmm. I see big eyes. Very good. But I'm not afraid. Good. Good. So let's see what happens. I want you to connect with this gray telepathically and tell me what he's saying and doing. It's like I'm, like they're just, he's just talking to me. Mm -hmm. Like we're just having a conversation. So let's connect with that conversation. I want you to connect with that conversation. You'll know what he's saying. I want you to go back into that conversation and tell me what both sides are saying telepathically. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have you been here before? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like I've been here before. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So ask him why. I want you to connect with him. What is the reason? I'm getting that I'm helping or something. Mm hmm so let's see how it is that you're helping. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ask him what your mission is. Not getting it. Not getting it. It's so confusing. Mm hmm So ask him. Yes. All I see is just me and him, and I feel like like I belong there, like mm -hmm. I'm ask supposed him. to be there. Ask him if you're one of them. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But you've... Agreed to help them? I guess. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's see what happens next in that UFO. Is that UFO on the ground? No. Where are you? We're above the trees. It's above the trees. So let's find out if that UFO takes you anywhere. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to connect with this being? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ask for his permission if he would like to speak with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me connect now with this gray. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Can you explain to me what's going on with this man? We need him to help us. Okay. Can you tell me more about his mission? I don't... I don't get anything. Mm -hmm. How is he supposed to be helping you? Maybe it has something to do with raising consciousness. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I want you to take a deep breath in and find yourself going deeper and deeper 
deeper and deeper so that we can connect. Feel yourself sinking lower and lower, allowing all of the information to flow as you get out of the way. And let me continue speaking with this gray. You've taken this man on board of your UFO. Where is it that you are from? I get Zeta. Zeta? Mm hmm. And are you here on a mission from Zeta to do something to this planet? It's like we're here to help. Mm hmm. What's going on? Are we talking about Earth? Yes. Mm hmm. What's happening on Earth that needs help? We're preparing the way. Mm hmm. Tell me more. It seems like we're preparing the way for the light. Mm hmm. For the future. For the future. And what year is this man in? Maybe 1500s. Mm hmm. 1500s. And how is he supposed to be helping? Is it something having to do with his energy? Yes. Mm hmm. Is he from Zeta too? Or is he from Earth? I think he's just from Earth. Okay. And are you giving him any information? Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of information do you give him? How to raise the light. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to raise the light? For the future. Mm -hmm. To to move into the next dimension. Mm -hmm. How long will it take to raise this level? A long time. It'll be over a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And why are you helping? What do you have to do with Earth? Because I, I help. You help. That's just part of who you are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you go to other planets or just Earth to do this? Right now, just Earth. Okay. So that's part of your mission. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what else would you like to tell us about what's in store for the future. We will make it. We won't make it? We will. We will. Mm -hmm. We will make it. We will raise consciousness and the light. Mm -hmm. Are there others that are helping also? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's going on on Earth that's so important for all of you to be here at this time raising consciousness? It's time. Mm -hmm. It's time to move into the next, the next dimension. And what's been holding the Earth back? Why hasn't the consciousness been raised? The people. Mm -hmm. The people need to be taught how. No one's teaching? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But we do have religions. It's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody does it in their own way. Okay. There's many different ways to do it. And how is this man, this native, helping raise consciousness? And teaching him how to spread the light. Mm -hmm. Is that done physically or metaphysically? Mentally. Mentally. Mm -hmm. Can you teach me how to spread the light? To raise consciousness? 
I can try. Mm -hmm. Tell me. So we can help everyone raise their consciousness. Tell you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can tell you. I think it's mentally. Mm -hmm. You have to go there. You have to be in the light and bring it in. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you do mentally? Yes. Do you envision the light coming into you? You can. Mm -hmm. It's there already. It's within us? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you expand it outwards? You can. Mm -hmm. What are other ways that we can use the light to raise consciousness? It fills you up. It makes you happy. Mm -hmm. So if someone is sad, for example, how can they use the light to make them happy? They need to mentally vision it mm -hmm. and feel it. It makes you happy. Is this the light from source? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it that we ultimately all need to do on this earth to raise consciousness? What's the goal? To move on. Mm -hmm. Are we stuck in a dimension? Or in a place? Yes. What's our goal? Where do we need to move on to? To the, the next level. Okay. And to do that, we all need to spread the light. Yes. Very good. Very good. Why did you... Why did you show this vision today? Because she, she knows mm -hmm. that that's what she's been doing, but she didn't know why. Mm -hmm. She's been doing that. She does that with everybody that she meets. She, she p plants part of that light in them. Mm -hmm. That energy goes to them. Part of that energy. She spreads it. Mm -hmm. How is she connected with this native Indian? She was that mm -hmm. native Indian. Mm -hmm. So that's why you showed her this today? Yes. Mm -hmm. And why did you show her that woman, that black woman? So that she knows that, that she can be any race. Mm-hmm. So that was the only reason you showed her that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Am I speaking with her higher self now? Or to the gray? I don't know. <laughs> Could you answer her questions? I should be able to. Mm -hmm. What is the reason you brought her here today? Because she knows she knows she's spreading the light and she wanted it confirmed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but she told me she came here for anxiety was that about Billy? I think so mm -hmm. but she's a spiritual being yes mm -hmm. and she's on her on her life's path Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more of what she needs to know today? She didn't write too many questions. Just that she's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. She's where she needs to be.
and she's spreading that light and people people know people thank her all the time for being happy and and being nice mm -hmm. how can she help now her mother-in-law who's passing has she transitioned yet no mm -hmm. How can we help her? I don't think she's 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 fighting it. She's fighting it. She Yes, yeah, she's fighting it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she needs to tell today? That we can help her with? Would you allow me to connect with her today? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'll get back to you in a moment. Let me speak with Dottie. I'm going to count from three to one, and when I get to one, I'll touch your forehead, and we'll connect with Dottie. Three, two, and one. Good afternoon, Dottie. Hi. What's going on with you? I'm dying of cancer. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. How do you feel? Exhausted. Mm -hmm. Hard to move. Mm-hmm so tired now i've been told you're fi fighting leaving what's going on with you why are you fighting it if you're so tired i think i'm afraid mm -hmm. what are you afraid of daddy to pass over mm -hmm. what do you think will be there i think i haven't lived a good life mm -hmm. and i'm just afraid to pass over are you afraid of things that will be on the other side maybe just the unknown mm-hmm it's always you're always afraid of of the unknown aren't you yes mm -hmm. and I think that maybe all of the regrets that you've had in your life are holding you down do you feel like maybe it's like an anchor to you yes would you like me to help you here today Dottie so that you don't feel so heavy I, I think I need to be there for Mike right now. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is that if you're with cancer and you're sick and so tired, you're not going to be able to help Mike. Isn't that true? Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to help him from the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you can't get there, Dottie, if you have so much remorse and regrets and holding you down. Would you like me to help you today? Yes. All right. Daddy, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of those regrets. Everything. Go through your entire life. Do a whole review and pull out all of those feelings that are holding you down. All those feelings of regrets, remorse, things that maybe you could have done better that you couldn't do. Being sick, wanting to help, all that anger that you had suppressed, that you couldn't let go. I want you to give them all to me so we can send them to the universe for healing and lighten your load. And Daddy, tell me when you're all done. I'm ready. I'm going to take that from you and send it off to the universe. Now, Daddy, in that space, it's so vacant now. What would you like to fill it with? Something really nice and beautiful. Love. Let's put lots of love in there, like a fire hose of love. Fill that space up with love. And let's seal that. What else would you like to fill with? Happiness. Lots of happiness. Let's put happiness, everything that you love in there. What else? That's it. Why don't we put some courage in there so that okay. you can go to the light? Let's put lots of courage in there and self-confidence. How does that feel now? better mm -hmm. is there anything Dottie that you would like to tell your family before you pass I love them mm -hmm. I will miss them you'll be able to see them yes I will mm -hmm. and is there anything that you would like to give them as a sign to tell them that you're with them it could be anything what would you like the sign to be for your family cross a cross? a cross. So when they see a cross, 
They can remember you? Yes. Wonderful. Anything else that you would like to say, Dottie? I love my sons. Tell him everything you need to tell him. Just that I love them. Beautiful. And I'm proud of them. I want them to know that I'm proud of them. Anything else? That's it. Wonderful. Daddy, I want to call my angels of the light to come and surround you so you could feel that wonderful light, that love, that there is no fear when you go back home to the source. I want those angels to remain with you until your last breath, knowing that now you could leave with a lighter load. How do you feel? Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you, Dottie, so much for being here today. I'm glad I was able to help you. May the light of the universe accompany you. And that there's build lots of crosses for your family to remember you by. Thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath in now. Let me speak with your higher self. Thank you very much. That was very beautiful. Is there anyone here that has anything to say to Susan today? Any of her other loved ones? Her, gr her grandmothers, her grandfather, her dad? I don't see anyone. You don't see anyone. Okay, very good. Would you tell Susan why she can't stop smoking. Her husband asked in particular that she look about quitting smoking. Why, why is it that she's smoking? She likes it. She likes it. Mm -hmm. Is this something that she wants to let go of? I don't think she's ready yet. Mm -hmm. Would you assist her when it comes time when she makes up that mind to take the cravings away yes mm -hmm. so that whenever she is ready to let it go she won't feel those cravings anymore it won't be anything that she needs in her body just like she doesn't need to drink or anything like that yes wonderful thank you and would you tell her a little bit about um the neck problem. What's causing the neck problem? It's from work. Mm -hmm. Her neck is crooked. Her neck's okay. Can you correct that for her? I can try. Okay. Let me know what you're using to help her neck. Energy. Okay. Any particular color or? Yellow. Yellow. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Mm hmm And would you continue to work on her at night whenever she comes home from work, when she's sleeping? Yes. So that she doesn't have those neck pains anymore? Yes. Mm hmm And would you tell her a little bit about the uh, medical marijuana that she's using? Does that benefit her? Yes. Mm -hmm. We were talking before we started our session about um, how you should address uh, marijuana. Could you tell her a little bit from your side how someone should be using this medicine? She smokes it. Mm -hmm. She should keep on smoking it. Mm -hmm. She's doing fine. She doesn't use it a lot. Okay. She uses it when she needs to. Would you give advice for anybody else seeking to use it? 
What would you like to tell them about this? It's natural. Mm -hmm. There are many different ways to use it. You have to find your, the way that works for you. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to abuse this medicine? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It can't hurt you. Okay, good. So she should continue to use it when she needs it. Yes. <clears throat> Would you tell her about her high blood pressure? What's causing that? She can't relax. Mm. Is this because of Billy? I think it's from the energy. From the energy? Which, which energy? The energy that she's spreading. Ah, okay. So what would you like to tell her about this? Is this something that she needs to be concerned about? I don't think so. Okay. Should she be taking pills for? They won't interfere. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Would you do a body scan and see if there's anything else health-wise that we need to address today? I don't see anything. Wonderful. She's in good health. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell her um, about her Diet Coke intake? How that's affecting her body? I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. Is the energy she's producing helping with that? Yes. Okay, good, good. Very good. I have a question about her work, her career. She seems to have been doing everybody else's work, but she's not getting compensated for it. Why is, why is that? I get that they don't like her. Mm -hmm. She's not one of them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you recommend? She's fine. She's doing her work. She's fine. Mm -hmm. She works with the public. She she sends the light out to the public. Mm -hmm. So she's doing the spiritual work she needs to do. Yes. She's in the right place for that. Yes. If she were to be promoted, would she be able to do the same thing? No. Mm -hmm. not Not as much. Okay. So you're kind of keeping her there in order for her to give out the light even more to those coming from the for public? For now, yes. Uh huh. How long will she need to do that before she changes? Quite a few years. Okay. She won't be happy. She won't be happy? No. <laughs> what would you like to tell her about that? So it's going to be at least another 10 years. Another 10 years that she needs to work with the public? Yes. Sending out her light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, we had um, heard from Dolores Cannon about the three waves of volunteers and how they helped with putting out energy. Is she involved with this at all? Is she one of these volunteers, or is she just doing this on her own? She's one of them. Mm-hmm. Did she choose to do this? Yes. Okay. Now, it seems that she's been doing this for a long time. She's been um, contacted by UFOs since the 1500s. Has this been her mission all along? Yes. Mm -hmm. Even as the black woman that we saw? Yes. Okay. All along. All along. How many lifetimes has she been doing this? I get 32. 32 lifetimes. Wonderful. Is there anything that you would like to tell her at this time that I haven't asked? Just 
that she's doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. She knows she is. She just wanted confirmation. She needed that confirmation. Mm -hmm. So she knows she's not crazy. <laughs> well, she drove a long way to get here. Yes. To do this. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Do you think she got all the answers she was looking for? Yes. Not quite what we thought. No, not at all. <laughs> what did she think she was going to get out of this? Scary stuff. Uh-huh. It wasn't too scary, was it? Not at all. Uh-huh. It was just Billy playing with her toes. Yes. Uh-huh. Getting that energy. Getting that energy from her that she's been projecting forever. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he was wanting some of that same energy. Yes. Too, but just bothering her. Yes. So she doesn't need to deal with anxiety anymore. No. It's all it's all taken care of. Which yes. Is perfect. So she is the the ultimate in lighthouses, huh? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there any other um, information that you would like to tell me or anyone else at this time? Don't stop. Don't stop what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You're doing the right thing. It's growing. Your work is growing, and it's going to change, just like we all are. Mm -hmm. You help so many people. Don't stop. Good. Is this something that uh, you feel that would benefit this, using this video to help other people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you would like to tell the world who would be watching this? Just find the light. Find the light. It's it's there. Just find it. You. Everybody does it different. Some people look for it outside. Some people look for it inside. It's there. And just spread it. Yes. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you very much for the information you've given us today. I know Susan's really going to appreciate it. Welcome back. Wow. Was that cool or what? Yeah, that was weird. What do you think? I I, I still think it, oh my God, so weird. Mm-hmm. Just so weird. Tell me how you experienced it. What was... Well, like, like people say, like, you can't believe you're saying this, but that's what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. So weird. Is it vivid for you? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. I saw colors, everything. Uh-huh. Yes. What's the most memorable, memorable part that the, you remember? The Indian and yeah. the go, the, the light, seeing the flash of light mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that one right there. That was amazing. Yeah. Nothing like we expected, huh? Yeah, nothing. No, not at all. <laughs> you expected some monster in the attic. I know. And you got a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty so much. weird. You wanted the light. Yeah. So you've been putting out this light everywhere you go, every lifetime. Yeah. Crazy. How Never weird. expected this. No, did not expect this. Mm -mm. Not at all. What did you expect? You're not scariness. To, you're not supposed to come with expectations. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I didn't really, but I thought if we did find something, yeah. it would be something really scary. Yeah. And it wasn't. No. No, not at all. Beautiful. Beautiful. How yeah. long do you feel you were in this trance? 15 minutes. I have an hour and 11 minutes. <gasps> no way. <laughs> didn't feel like it, did it? Are you serious? Oh, my God. <laughs> That, does, that means I don't remember everything. <laughs> no. How weird. It went by pretty quickly. Oh, my God. Nice, huh? Crazy. So, do you recommend this to other people? Yes. Oh, amazing. It was worth the drive? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it wasn't three hours, but you, no. drove, you drove pretty fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I came from Las Vegas, remember, yes. originally. Yes. That's, that's so, true. Stopped off at my sister's. Good. So we talked to your higher self about sharing this video. Are you okay with sharing it? Yes. I don't think there's anything in there that's I, yeah, personal at all. I don't think there was, yeah. It's really a message to the world all about the light. Right. And what's fascinating to me is that it's not just now. It's You've been, we've been doing this for a long time. I know, that is so the strange. The 1500s. I mean, this was an Indian, a Native American that, right? It was a Native American. Yes. 
How did he weird. look? Did he look Amer- like a Native American, or did he look like a? He different- did. He had dark skin, like, okay. a, and he was wearing like I want to say like a loincloth. It was uh-huh. just something in the all middle. he wore, just like something, yeah, something down here just to cover this. Cool. And that was it. That so was all he wore. Let me turn on some more lights here. I know. I was crying with Dottie, like inside. Oh, how that, that was feel? so. This is your mother-in-law. Yeah. In yeah. Of- when when she te- like. They didn't want to come out of my eyes because I couldn't open my eyes. But but when we were releasing her, uh-huh. there I Got felt it. the tears. Felt yeah. So let me put this back here and we'll say goodbye together. Okay. So I just have a seat there. And how did the selenite work? Oh my god, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, you feel like you are one with it. Mm-hmm. You don't feel like you're separate from this. Okay, so here we go. Let's say goodbye, so we could both be in here. All right, can we get both both here? Yeah. Okay, so here we are in Los Angeles. We just had an amazing session with Susan, and uh, we even talked to her uh, mother-in-law, who's in the process of uh, transitioning right now. It was a great session. Nothing like what we expected. No, nothing. Nothing. (laughs) So you could recommend this? Yes, I recommend (laughs) this. Yes, I do. (laughs) Because what you're thinking is not even the truth. (laughs) And did it feel weird or anything? What feels weird is that what you're seeing and saying, you think you're making it up. <laughs> you think you're you think you're nuts. Like yeah. where is this coming from? Well, that's what. But you are nuts. Yes. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Good, no. good. So um, if you want a session with me, you can, uh, can look me up on albawyman.com, and uh, we can book a session there. See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>